for the seminar today. Uh, we've got revenue management as uh, our topic today. Uh, we've got a great lineup of speakers this afternoon, and I can certainly say that uh, by the end of it, uh, you know, we'll have a lot of information that we've gathered on behalf of their experiences. Uh, before we begin, I'd just like to bring a small change uh, in the lineup for, of speakers today. Uh, we initially had Mr. Abhishek Logani join us from Make My Trip, but uh, due to some last minute changes in the schedule, uh, we have now got Mr. Aditya Gupta on his behalf. Uh, we'll be starting with a uh, presentation by Mr. Tarun Jokani. Uh, he's the director of STAR, and uh, this for uh, I'm sure everyone knows about STAR, but for those who don't, uh, STAR is a New Zealand based company that was set up by Mr. Tarun in Mumbai, uh, in India, and he looks after the, the Indian operations uh, out of their Mumbai office. Uh, they're currently servicing more than 500 uh, accommodation partners and have introduced affordable cloud based channel management, booking engine, and responsive websites to all their partners. Tarun will be guiding us on how technology can assist hotels in revenue management. Uh, after Mr. Tarun's presentation, we've got uh, Aditya Gupta, who is the national head of the hotel network at Make My Trip. Uh, Mr. Aditya has had a professional experience of 12 years in the travel industry, and he's been with Make My Trip for nine years out of those 12. Uh, he's here to speak uh, with us on how an OTA can help uh, hotel owners and operators uh, maximize their revenue. Uh, last but not the least, we've got Mr. Saurabh Kumar, the head of revenue management at the Oberoi Mumbai and uh, Trial in Narman Point, uh, who's going to highlight the successful techniques uh, hotels use for revenue management. Having graduated from uh, the Blue Mountains Hotel School in Australia, Mr. Saurabh began his career as a revenue manager at the Oberoi Hotel in Bangalore. Uh, gaining tremendous knowledge in this aspect, he is currently heading the revenue management department in Mumbai. Uh, so that's the introduction for all our speakers uh, that we have this afternoon. And we'll have a 5 to 10 minute window at the end of all the uh, presentations where the, the, the delegates can have uh, any, any kind of uh, question and answers with uh, the speakers, but strictly relating to uh, the, the topic. Uh, I now request Mr. Tarun to uh, kickstart the seminar with his presentation. Thank you. Thanks, Chad. So, yeah, welcome all. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. I'm happy to get into two parts. So, basically, the first part is the people who are managing revenue management. It's very important. And the second is the technology they use. Uh, I will emphasize more on the second part because that's what we are, we are technology providers. But really both go hand in hand. You cannot have just one side of it. Uh, if you see today's time, you know, it's changed so much. It's so important to have the right people. Uh, if it's a large hotel, you've got, you know, real high end revenue managers. But if it's maybe a two-star, three-star hotel, we may not have like a real high-end revenue manager, but it's not difficult. It's honestly not rocket science if you understood the gist of how the whole thing works. It's very important because times have changed and uh, really there is a lot of planning required, a lot of strategy required. I mean, this image over here, basically what we're trying to say is it's so important to throw the right bait. If you don't throw the right bait, you won't get the right fish. So it's, it's the same thing, you know, you may, you may push out X, Y, Z rate, you may have some strategy, but is it working? So that's where your human touch comes in. You need the right people for sure. So this is the part where I'm going to talk about a bit more technology. Uh, the old days are gone, it's changing so much. Like everything else, uh, technology is playing a real crucial part. I mean, simple things like managing your OTAs, your rates, you know, instead of those old days, how you all used to kind of email your OTAs, tell them to change the rates, that's all gone, it's all changing. That's where you need uh, technology to manage that. So the eventual goal for both the sides is getting your revenue going. That's the bottom line. So starting with consumer habits, you know, they're changing so quickly. Who would have thought your Flipkart, your Amazon, 
your Snapdeal would be where they are. I mean, today sitting at home, you can literally order things online, it comes to your doorstep. You may order things for your family, you may send birthday presents across. Everything literally is moving online. And the consumers preferring online, the main reason is convenience. So it's them who decide instead of walking down the street, shopping, they know what they want, they're seeing it online. Your internet speed has got better, so they simply get onto online and order stuff. So it's literally, you know, convenience is king. That's what we're trying to tell you. The consumer, as long as he's finding it convenient, he is going to go for it. And that's where you're seeing the sudden growth for online. And it's just online, and that's why you always see Aditya and me smiling. It's all going that way. <laughs> so, so Diplomat Hotel, this is a hotel in uh, Kalaba. In fact, Gulbir is here. Definitely want to uh, speak of this hotel. This hotel has been around using our technology for a good uh, two years. You know, they've been doing fairly okay in these two years, managing stuff, managing rates, availability. You know, but uh, traditionally when they started, at least what I could see, the rates were more static. Maybe a 6,000 rupee rate across all the days and uh, things were just kind of getting along. You receive a few hundred bookings and things were getting along. But if you see the last six months, they really changed things around. They really started strategizing in-house. They have a plan. You know, they're, they're playing around with the rates. They're kind of looking how much availability is there. Based on the availability, they are they're deciding their rates. If obviously your availability is low, they're increasing the price and vice versa. So strategy is there. Weekends, they are playing around with the rates. If it depends which time of the year. Ramadan just went by and uh, pretty much at least South Mumbai was empty and they were playing with the rates. So this is a good example from being a traditional hotel, managing things, they've actually uh, evolved and really the bookings have just uh, skyrocketed, you know, you can see it. So well done, Ruby. Okay. So just to give you all an example, how does technology help in uh, revenue management? I mean, typically what a channel manager does is something called pooled inventory. Now, this is one of the features which you cannot do manually. Even if you want to, it's pretty much difficult. So, just as an example, I'm just going to use this. So, let's say to understand what pool inventory is, you've got just one room available in your hotel. Now, the big question is, who do you give this room to? Do you give it to an Expedia, a Clear Trip, Make My Trip, Agoda? Who do you give it to? Because there's just one room left. So typically what the hotel would do is they wouldn't give it to anyone. They would be too scared, you know, they would get overbooked. So they would say kind of bugger it, let's just close it, we'll wait for some walk-ins. But if you're putting it into a channel manager, into a software, it definitely helps you because by putting that one room in, it's going to all your OTA partners simultaneously including your website. So it's first in, first out. Let's say you get a booking from a clear trip, gives it to clear trip, closes out the inventory dynamically among all the other OTAs. So that's something which you can't do manually and most of the time that one room gets sold. Of course the pricing is really important what you place it at. You might keep it high, you know, because it's the last room, that's fine. You just find your way through to try things different which you should really. And the last point there is basically giving you 100% uh, peace. You won't get overbooked, so you don't mind uh, putting the last room in over there. So this is another important topic to cover, you know, your competition. Understand who your competition is. It's not difficult to understand. You know what's happening in the market. If you don't, you might be setting your room for 7,500. <coughs> but your competition might say, well, 5,000 rupees. Now, it's, it's your choice. You might wait and kind of see what happens. You know, don't want to play around with the rates. Still the old traditional way. Keep it at 7,500. You've got the phobia. Your corporate clients will complain, but quite honestly, that is changing. 
It's already changed in developed countries, and we are seeing that now over here in, in uh, all your developing countries. So definitely stock your competitors, play around with your rates, and alongside, you know, you might be able to afford softwares which tell you what your competition is doing. So even if it's not, simply get onto your OTAs. You honestly don't need to move from your desk. You can even find out sitting in your office. If you can afford the software, by all means, it's definitely more convenient. So this is another good point. You know, um, always talk to your OTA partners. Each account, each OTA has an account manager. They know the market. They know exactly how it works. They know in your area which hotel is doing well. So if you talk to them, build your relationship with them, they'll be more than happy to kind of talk to you, guide you, help you. Because if your hotel gets more bookings, they make more money than you. Not they do, but you know, they get their cut. They get their percentage. So it's very, very important to find out who your competition is from your OTAs. They have it all. They'll probably give you reports as well. I mean, some channels like a booking.com, if you go into a particular hotel, to your hotel, they will even show you down suggesting other hotels. Look at those hotels carefully. Look at the price. Look what all they are providing. So, in a way, it comes to stocking your competitors. <coughs> so, this is a topic where uh, everyone, I mean, most of the hotels want direct bookings onto your website. Everyone is asking us how do we get more bookings from the whole, whole picture. You know, we want more bookings on our website. So just point by point, you know, we we'll take it through. So when a person is trying to book a hotel and he's come to your website, he obviously hasn't been to your hotel. That's how he's come to your website. If he knows your hotel, he stayed there before, he probably would just kind of book it and move on. But if he's looking at your website, that's his virtual lobby, what he's seeing. So it's very important to have it clean, give him good info on it. Okay. How easy is it to find the best deal? That's typically, especially in developed countries, what a customer or consumer is looking for. They want a good deal. Is it easy? Is it highlighted well? Okay. Have you loaded your best photos? You know, images speak a thousand words, really. So that's very, very important to have good images. Because again, it comes to point one. They have not seen your hotel, and uh, images will tell them. That's the first thing. If someone's coming to your website, he sees images. If he likes your images, that's when he gets onto the content. It's kind of a human thing for all. Need and trips, that's fine. So this is a good point for how many clicks does it take to finish a booking. I mean, if you notice this in a lot of OTAs, they, they will kind of, they've experienced, they've done it. The minimum clicks you have to complete a booking, the better. Even channels like an Amazon, you don't need uh, more clicks to complete a purchase. The same thing now with most of the OTAs. If you see a lot of hotels, traditional hotels, you have to you still do it. Initially, when you get on to the landing page of uh, a website, they would ask you to put in your email before you could actually browse the site. So they basically are trying to collect data of the customers and later on they would email the customer kind of a thing. But times have changed really. So if you look probably 10, 12 years back, if you had uh, say 100 hotels for example in Mumbai, probably about 10 to 15 had websites. The customer's patience was far more. But now if you've got 100 hotels, all 100 have websites. So they say when a customer comes to your website, you've got five seconds whether he likes it or he doesn't like it. So if you would ask him to put in his email and you're quite honestly, uh, pretty much lost your customer over there. So again, this is kind of on point two. He should be able to spot the city, preferably subtly at least on your home page. And is your booking engine secure? Lot of uh, lot of uh, websites ask the customer to put in their credit card details, maybe even directly on the website. You've got to be careful with that. With so much internet theft happening, be sure you have a secured uh, 
booking engine for sure. <coughs> so this is another topic, you know, for OTAs. Just that the first one pretty much is uh, covering everyone wants to get websites on their direct uh, website and they want to get out of OTAs. But trust me, you cannot do that. Yes, you may want it as much as to happen, but you're better off partnering with them. They are too big, they are too huge. I mean, it's, it's known for someone like a booking.com, they pay Google a billion dollars a year just for advertising in Google. So I'm not saying don't do these things. We spoke about for sure, it definitely helps. But you rather partner with your OTAs, accept them, they're there, and work alongside with them. I mean, talk to them, they will tell you the packages, what work in your area, long, long stays, minimum nights, advanced purchase, last minute deals, definitely partner with them, rather than saying, oh, we don't need OTAs, we want it directly on the website. It's not gonna happen. So, choosing a channel manager, that is something, yes, which we do. Just a few points to cover before you decide what channel manager you should go for. So, reliability, that's so important. Uh, you've got heaps of channel managers there, but do they have downtime? Pretty much it should work like an OTA. You never see a make my trip Expedia going down. And the same thing should be for your channel manager. So, real time updates, very, very important. If you're pushing an update now, it should happen literally in 30 seconds to two minutes. I mean, we've got hotels which are changing their rates availability even like five times a day. And simultaneously, we've heard of channel managers. Another hotel here was telling me is they push an update at four in the evening and they actually have to leave their computer on and it gets updated probably at eight, nine in the night. So by the time they come back in the morning, they again have to push updates, things have changed overnight. It just doesn't work. Times are really, really changing fast. So, whilst it's in real time, you should also get a confirmation right away in that 30 seconds to two minutes if the updates happen or not. Literally, you need to know where, what, whether the updates happen as a reply. I mean, it may well fail, but you need to know what happened. So, pool inventory, we cover that topic. That's one of the main things of a channel manager. Even if you've got one single room, it should go out to all the OTAs. This is a new thing which is coming on where you can actually load the dynamics. You can set it into the system if you've got, say, 50 rooms available. You can set the dynamics right at the price should be maybe uh, uh, 6,000 rupees, inventory drops to 30 rooms. Dynamically, the price changes to 8,000 rupees. Last five rooms, you can have it at 11,000 rupees. So that's a new thing coming up. App again, you know, pretty much now you can use a channel manager with an app. A lot of you have Sundays off, Saturday, Sundays off. I mean, what happens if things change in those two days? You may be sold out, you may want to close your inventory. Vice versa, you may have a cancellation for a corporate booking, you want to open your inventory. You can pretty much do it over your phone now. Just click off a button. So again, the OTAs will guide you for your channel managers. Talk to them. They know it all, they're forever uh, meeting hotels. They get feedback. So before you make a call, certainly talk to your OTAs. Talk to a few of them. They will always give you good advice because remember, if you benefit, they benefit you. So don't just go for the cheapest one. I mean, it all depends. Are you looking for a channel manager actually to do the job or just for the sake of saying, yes, we have a channel manager? Because it's really important you're playing with your uh, rates and availability, which is a key, key thing for your hotel. So a few more, few more simple things to talk about. Now, position yourself with the right star rating. There's no point, uh, you know, advertising to be a five star or four star when you're actually a two or three star. If you do that, it's easy to kind of dress up your website, do certain things like this, make a real flash looking website. But once your customers come and he's checked in and uh, he doesn't get what he's expected because he's seen your site 
expecting a lot more, and that's where you'll get negative reviews on TripAdvisor and various sites, wherever it's booked from. So it, it's okay to kind of make a three star. You might decide to kind of slightly be cheeky, make it to about three and a half star, but certainly don't scale it up to four or five star. You're simply increasing the expectations of, uh, of the customer, the consumer. So again, your property, room types, description, Keep it simple, it should not be too much matter. You don't want him to kind of read too much data. You don't want him to make it really short as well. Keep it really right. Get get it, uh, get a content writer if you have to. It's very important. So again, coming back to photos, get a professional photographer, images, speak a thousand words. That's the first thing which he will come to. He will see images. If he likes images, that's where he gets to content. He reads your content, he looks for a good price, and he actually completes the booking. So images are the starting point. Get HD images if you have to. That's a new thing which makes a huge difference. So again, facilities, what you have, what you don't have. You know, your pool may be under.